Hmm. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh. Um, hope you are in a very good health and inshallah I will continue my class uh, for today. And the topic is uh, and the chapter is contract law. So, what is contract? Kita akan tengok dulu definition contract lah. And when we discuss on contract, we are actually referring to Contracts Act 1950. Undang undang contract 1950. So according to Contract Act Section uh, 2H states that an agreement and possible by law is a contract. Agreement yang dikuatkuasakan oleh undang-undang adalah contract. So contract ni apa? Contract ni adalah agreement between two parties or more. Perjanjian yang melibatkan dua pihak atau lebih which is enforceable by law. Alright, yang boleh dikuatkuasakan oleh undang In order for a contract to be enforced by the court or by law, you have to uh, make the contract as a valid contract first. So, there are four elements to be fulfilled in order to make a contract as a valid contract. Once the contract becomes a valid contract, so it binds the parties to the contract. Dia mengikat pihak-pihak yang berkontrak. Apa yang dimaksudkan dengan bind the parties? Maksudnya pihak-pihak kontrak tersebut terikat dengan tanggungjawab masing-masing. So let's say there is a contract of uh, jual beli rumah. So vendor dengan purchaser masing-masing ada rights and obligations yang dia kena fulfill. Okay and when the parties to the contract uh, when the contract is binding for the parties uh, if anything happens let's say one of the parties atau kedua-dua pihak ada breach of contract, mungkir contract maksudnya tak fulfill contract tersebut so the agreed party the victim in that situation pihak yang teranaya is uh, can bring the contract to the court uh, the problem of the contract to the court so bila contract tu dah sah baru 